Hey guys, welcome back. Next up on my uh, classic movie collection, I don't know what to call it, movie making set. Uh, this is a Kodak splicer for splicing films. You can do 8mm, Super 8s, and 16mm. This is the tape, the press tape. And then here is the tool itself. And what you do is, I don't have an example reel, but you would lay your film down, you'd line up the holes here, and then there's this knife, and, or the blade, and you cut your film where you want it to, make edits, and then you take some uh, tape, press tape, and then just tape it over. It's, I believe this is Mylar press tape, and this is 8mm, and this is Super 8. 8mm Super 8. I don't think there's any 16mm press tape that came with this. And this is not the only thing I have. Um, this also came with the Kodak instructions with the Kodak guarantee. Now I'm not sure on the date of this. I believe it would be around the 60s because now I might be wrong on that and then there's no date I'd have to look it up oh, and then there's this tool here and I'm not quite sure what it does it's like a pencil maybe it's to smooth it it doesn't look like it comes apart but, yes, there's this tool. Get that out of the way. And also, what came with this camera, or, well, <laughs> what came with this set is the camera, and here's the box, and unfortunately the box, like, rotted. It's not moldy, it just decayed. But inside is this Remington 8mm camera. It is very, very nice. Uh, Remington Reflex Zoom. Um, here's the side and the, the crank for your film. And I believe this is to record. Up here you've got the dial. I think this is exposure dial or uh, gauge. Uh, I'm not too knowledgeable about uh, cameras. Uh, this is my second one in my collection. I might start a small collection. Um, I have a Kodak turret cam. But anyways, uh, Remington, 8mm camera, made in Japan. I turn the lock. And then here, what it looks like on the inside. You put your reel here, run it along, and then it would feed into this thing. And uh, actually, I'll crank it up and we can watch the action. Lock it up real quick. Oh, we can take a peek through it. And this is winder up. Okay, so this should make the mechanism work. Very exciting, very, very exciting. Now this does 8mm, I don't think it does super 8. So we've got wide angle setting, we have telephoto setting, and um, it's also got a zoom function right here. Zoom lens, so that's really cool. And also an adjustments here. So there's a lot of adjustments for this camera. And also, what comes with this camera is um, oops, the film processing envelope. Hasn't been opened yet. And also, here is a manual. Uh, while this is the same camera in the picture, um, this says Mansfield Holiday Reflex Zoom. And on the camera itself it says Remington reflex zoom 
So it's got a built-in exposure meter. Um, here's the device. Um, how to take perfect movies, loading the camera stuff, talking about the zoom options, and some accessories, like, and uh, some cleaning stuff, and that's it. Um, Manfield Industries, Spring Grove, Minnesota, printed in Japan. Um, and um, it came with this pistol grip. So I'll just put that on really quick. Just put it in the bottom here. Oh, actually, you have to line up this um, pin into the hole. Ha uh ha. -huh. Hold on a second. Okay, here we go. We've got the pistol grip on. Looks like some sweet alien laser. So here you go, pistol grip. Um, when you pull this, it activates that up there, so it will... Well, that's it, guys. That's a little quick show off of my Remington Reflex Zoom, also known as the Holiday. Reflex Zoom by Mansfield. Um, also, what came with this book is the complete 16-page book, Secrets of Successful Movie Making by Charles Reynolds. Uh, One dollar. Um, apparently, uh, Michael Bay has not read this. Uh, I, I might have to uh, mail it to him. Uh, learn from the work of others by that... Um, learn from the mistakes of Michael Bay. Thank you for watching. This is really exciting. Stick around. I have one more awesome item to show.